Uh, sadly, we have an intense surge underway right now, and it's in the South Pacific. Crews are looking for 10 U.S. sailors who went missing after a Navy destroyer collided with an oil tanker. Griff Jenkins is live in Washington, D.C. with the breaking details about the John S. McCain. Griff. Good morning, Steve Ainsley and Brian. Wish I had better news, but the search is on in the South China Sea this morning for those 10 sailors who are missing at this hour. With five others injured, four of them had to be airlifted for treatment. The USS John S. McCain, a missile guided destroyer, has arrived in Singapore's naval base with, quote, significant damage to its hull after a collision with an oil tanker near the Strait of Malacca. According to the Navy's Seventh Fleet, you can see the large hole there on the side of the destroyer it led to flooding in the crew's berths as well. In the machine and communications room. President Trump tweeting last night his thoughts, saying, Thoughts and prayers are with our U.S. Navy sailors aboard the U.S. John S. McCain, where search and rescue efforts are underway. And Arizona Senator John McCain, for whom the ship is named after his father and grandfather, who served in the Navy as admirals, tweeting this Cindy and I are keeping America's sailors aboard the John S. McCain in our prayers tonight. Appreciate the work of search and rescue crews. Now, guys, this is not good news for the Navy. This is the fourth major mishap for the U.S. Navy ships in the Pacific this year. Most recently, back in June, when the USS Fitzgerald collided with a container ship off the coast of Japan. This is certainly going to start raising a lot of questions as to why this keeps happening. I expect to hear more of it, perhaps from the president tonight or in the coming weeks as he travels around the country. Guys? Uh, yeah, we're going to get more details on that. Thanks so much, Griff Thank Jenkins. You,